definitely be on the lookout for this book. It sells really quickly. The Screw Tape Letters Annotated Edition by C.S. Lewis. It's hardcover. <clears throat> I haven't seen this one before. Really nice book here. I got this as a donation in the store back in September. So it took a little less than a month for this to sell on Amazon. I sold this on Amazon for $14 and change. So it was a nice sale. Didn't take too long to sell. And again, it's sold Merchant Fulfilled, not FBA. So I will ship it out myself in one of these big pattern mailers. And yeah, so definitely keep a lookout for it. Um, if you were to see the screw tape letters by C.S. Lewis, you might not think it's worth something. But this one to me stood out because it's a hardcover copy and because it says annotated. And then when you open it up, it looks really nice. So you always want to take a look at these kind of books and see if they're worth reselling for sure which thankfully this one was. The Silver Chalice. This is a CD soundtrack from, um, what did they call it? Oh, Franz Waxman. This is one of those that came from a big CD uh, donation. I got two large CD donations, five boxes each. Banker's boxes full of CDs that were almost entirely soundtracks classical music and jazz and most of the soundtracks were rare uh, ones that I have never seen before yeah this person was a big collector and uh, one of his friends uh, the guy passed away and one of his friends donated all this stuff to me unfortunately they donated some other stuff to a thrift store which if you're listening now watching the video believe it or not they donated 12 boxes of CDs like this and by the way they're all Almost look brand new, as if they were never used. Took incredible care of them. Donated 12 boxes, so more than I even received. And then saw them actually throw them in the dumpster. So be careful when you uh, think thrift stores are going to do some good stuff with, with your donations. So anyway, this one sold for, on eBay, sold for $15 plus shipping. I took an offer. I had it up for $17.99. It has... I don't know how long it's sat, maybe a couple months, maybe a little bit longer, but um, I still have a bunch of these for sale on eBay, and I've done really, really well with them. So keep your eye out for, for uh, soundtracks like this. He had a lot of stuff that was also from other countries, so international stuff, that uh, has sold really well. Seven American Utopias by Dolores Hayden. The architecture of communitarian socialism, so very, very specific, between 1790 and 1975. This one took some time to sell. Um, I sold it for $41.99. It was free shipping. I don't do free shipping anymore. This was an older listing from a few years ago. And uh, this book came from a professor who uh, found my store. And he's at a local college. There's a bunch of colleges nearby my store. And he had retired and was getting rid of a lot of books and uh, had some awesome stuff. A lot of them, I've sold a majority of what he has, what he donated, but I uh, still have a you know, handful more to go. But a lot of them were more long tails. Uh, and I also sold some on, e on Amazon as well. So this was on eBay, $41.99, free shipping. <clears throat> I believe it's a bigger one. Uh, I think I made around 30 bucks after shipping and, and that eBay cost. So... This is what I mean by long tail, you know, a $30 profit. That's all profit. So that's after, again, I didn't pay for it. So it just sat on my shelf for the last, I think it's been two years. See, it says, it says July 14th, but I didn't put the year, but I believe it was 2021. Um, but $30 profit. And that is awesome. I don't mind that. Again, it's up to you. You got to have the space. You got to have the patience. Uh, these type of items, even if you, it doesn't necessarily has to do with the price. It has to do with the right buyer coming along and there's just not very many copies. So you definitely don't want to have it priced at $300 because no one's going to buy it. But you want to be reasonable, but at the same time have a nice, a nice amount of profit in there. And uh, for me personally, I like to price at the lowest offer that there currently is, if not below it, uh, just depending on the item. Um, this one was an offer. I, I took an offer of it. Actually, no, I'm sorry. This was actually a promotion I had going, and so yeah, that was why it was $41.99. This, to me, was the most fun one uh, sale that I've had in the last 24 hours. 
and it is Friday, October 20th, 2023, if I didn't say that, which I don't believe I did. Um, so these are sales since yesterday. And uh, this one I actually bought back in June 28th uh, of this year, of course, June 28th. So a little less than four months ago, I bought this at a thrift store that I've told you about that I've been going to twice a week. And I found this one, bought it for $1.50, $1.50. This one's really unique, really cool. Not very many copies. It does sell pretty well. Uh, my 40 plus years with Tiffany. So that is, this is the woman here who, it's about her experience working at Tiffany. Yes, Tiffany, um, the famous jeweler. And so a lot of stuff that she made and she wrote some stuff in here. So yeah, this one is pretty rare. Uh, I'll probably never find it again, but I ended up listing it for 75 bucks plus shipping, taking offers, but I took an offer of $45 because it had sat for four months and I figured, hey, that's a nice offer. I paid $1.50. After all fees said and done, I made just under 40 bucks. Uh, about, I think it was like 37, 38 bucks. So again, a nice profit. This is a sort of medium tail, not not a long tail because it took four months uh, to sell. But when I found it on the, on the shelves and looked it up, did a little research and saw where the prices were and that it actually does sell, not doesn't sell that often because there's just not that many copies. I think there's only one or two other copies on eBay right now. But um, there was another copy, interestingly enough, that was going for 40 bucks plus shipping. And they offered me 45 for this. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to take it because I don't want them to... I don't want to counter with, you know, 50 or 55 and then they don't accept it and end up buying the other one. Uh, or just don't buy mine. So I'd rather make that, you know, almost $40 profit um, and get it out of my... Uh, get or get it out of my uh, inventory and keep it moving take the money and buy more stuff so you know you got to take those things into consideration when you are reselling again this was from a thrift store if you think there's nothing to find in thrift stores there are I only go for 30 40 minutes um, cumulatively about an hour a week to this one particular thrift store and I've pretty consistently been finding good stuff um, unfortunately they don't put a ton of new books out they have a lot of books but when I go, you know, I go on a Wednesday and I don't go again until a Monday. And so that's what, five days. And they, they might, sometimes they put out some new books, but I don't really notice that there's a large amount of books being put out. Uh, so, but there's enough to where I still do find some stuff and I do see other resellers, uh, Amazon scanners, as well as people just kind of looking through who appear to be resellers and I still find stuff. So, you, you know, don't definitely don't, don't think that there's, um, just because there's other resellers that you're not going to find anything. You have to really learn about what sells on eBay <clears throat> and uh, look for this kind of stuff. So keep that in mind, guys, when you're out there. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you learned something. Take care.